السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن ولا ثم أما بعد. Recently, at the Council on American and Islamic Relations Michigan office, we have received a number of complaints of individuals in the community stating that FBI agents have come to their homes asking them questions in regards to their family relations in the country of Yemen, what scholars they have sat with and had discussions with in Yemen, as well as what websites they have visited or if they have emailed certain individuals within that country. Due to these visits, CARE Michigan would like to remind you of your legal rights. One, if FBI agents come to your home or any law enforcement agents and come to your door and ask to come in, you have the right to tell them that they are not welcome to come in unless they have a search warrant. You also have the legal right that if the FBI asks you particular questions, that you have the right to have an attorney present with you in regards to answering questions they have relating to you or to your loved ones. These are your legal rights. Outside of the state of Michigan, not only have community members complained about FBI agents coming to their homes asking similar questions, but they have also stated that CIA agents have come to their homes accompanying FBI agents. It is very important for you to understand that the CIA has no legal charter in terms of domestic intelligence or asking American citizens questions inside the 50 states of the United States of America. In the event that FBI agents and FBI and CIA agents come to your home to ask you questions, you also need to request their cards. If a CIA agent comes to your home with FBI agents, you should contact your local care office immediately. We then will contact your local congressman and senator and launching a formal complaint in terms of the CIA coming to you asking you particular questions. During American history, during the counterintelligence program, there was a series of coordinated efforts to spy on American citizens, not only through the Federal Bureau of Investigations, but also with military intelligence and the CIA. And the actions of the CIA during this time period, ending in the early 70s, was exposed and said to have been unconstitutional. Lastly, CARE Michigan also has concerns in terms of the ongoing saga of the investigation of the fatal shooting of Imam Luqman Abdullah, rahimahullah, which took place in October of 2009, in which he was fatally shot 20 times by Federal Bureau of Investigation agents. Recent news has come to the fore that Michigan State Attorney General Mike Cox has hired a former prosecutor, Doug Baker, to investigate the shooting of Imam Abdullah, rahimahullah. We at CARE Michigan have serious concerns in regards to this investigation. Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy released in a public statement that she refused to hold an investigation into the shooting of Imam Abdullah Rahimahullah because she asked the Federal Bureau of Investigations for certain records in terms of the raid that took place which led to the fatal shooting of the Imam. Because Wayne County Prosecutor was not able to get these records, she again refused because she said she could not conduct an accurate and thorough investigation of what took place that day. Therefore, the concern is that if Mr. Baker is not given these same records that Wayne County Prosecutor asked for, then it is not possible for him to do a thorough and robust investigation into the shooting of Imam Abdullah Rahimahullah. The prosecutor is in their job, they are investigating to see not only the circumstances that led to the Imam's death, but also if there are possible criminal acts that took place. In particular, whether the FBI agents performed manslaughter upon the Imam. We at CARE Michigan have serious concerns in regards to these records being withheld 
from the prosecutors and their labeling of them as being confidential. If these records are not being held as confidential because they pose some sort of national security threat, then why is the FBI holding these records confidential? In essence, this raises suspicion amongst advocates as well as journalists that pose this question in the Detroit Free Press as well as in Time Magazine that the FBI could be labeling records as confidential which could show them committing some type of wrongdoing including potential criminal wrongdoing and misconduct. Therefore, we at the Council on American Islamic Relations Michigan Chapter are calling for the Federal Bureau of Investigations to release these records to Mr. Baker that he may hold a thorough and robust investigation into the shooting of Imam Luqman Abdullah, Rahimahullah, and that the FBI release to us the Freedom of Information Act requests that we have submitted to them in terms of the necropsy report, which is the autopsy of the dog to show which caliber guns actually shot the dog and for the potential video surveillance that was in the warehouse that day which Imam Abdullah Rahimahullah was killed. We have extremely strong reason to believe that if the Federal Bureau of Investigations held three years of investigations upon the masjid, spent hundreds of thousands of dollars, used informants and agent provocateurs in that mosque, and controlled the warehouse in which the sting operation took place in which the imam was fatally shot, then they would have followed standard operating procedures during a sting and they would have had video surveillance cameras in the warehouse which would have taken pictures of the entire sting including the fatal shooting of the imam. We believe that if the FBI simply released this video footage, if it exists, that it will clear the air. If Imam uh, Abdullah Rahimahullah was pointing a gun first at FBI agents and he shot FBI agents and was shot in the process, then of course that would be a criminal act and that would be wrong. However, if Imam Abdullah was not pointing a gun at FBI agents, if he was in the process of surrendering and dogs were unleashed upon him, which then led to him sh uh, shooting the dogs or in fact led to a gunfight or his fatal shooting. Perhaps the imam wasn't even shooting at human agents. Then perhaps this raises a number of questions in terms of FBI protocols. With that, brothers and sisters in Islam, we ask for your continued support, both your moral support and your dua and your prayers. And again, we at CARE Michigan are not anti-FBI. We are anti-law enforcement misconduct. We at CARE Michigan, we are pro-law enforcement, but we are against certain actions in which we feel are targeting the Muslim community and are unconstitutional. May Allah's peace be with you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.